What are the qualities of a great seducer? Well, I like to distinguish between cold seducers and warm seducers. A cold seducer is something you don't want to be. That's the typical image that we might have of a male seducer, but even of a female seducer, like the great courtesans, et cetera, where they're just after money or the men are just after sex. That's not my ideal. My ideal is kind of a back and forth quality where it's not domination. It's sort of like a game that you're playing. It's like a mating game. It's like a courtship ritual where both part people are kind of seducing each other. And so what makes for a great seducer is very simple. I can summarize it very simply. You are outer directed. So when you meet somebody for the first time or you're on a date or whatever it is, you're not having that internal monologue going, does she like me or does he like me? Am I dressed well? Am I saying stupid things? What can I do to impress them? No, you turn it off and you're outer directed and you're listening to them and you're entering their spirit and you're hearing them say things that that give you idea of what they're missing in life, of what they want, of what their needs are, of what makes them an individual. You're absorbing it, you're entering into their spirit, and then you can reflect it back to them. You can give them gifts, you can take them to places that show that you're attentive to them. Because if you look at how we are in our day-to-day -day life, normally people never pay us attention. They're always so self-absorbed, they're never thinking about us. You, the, I, many, the times where you get the sense that people are actually interested in who you are as an individual is pretty rare. If you give that feeling to someone, it's incredibly powerful because we all want to be validated. We all want to be recognized. So the seducer is not someone who's all worried about him, him or herself and thinking. They're involved in the other person. They're absorbed like a sponge inside their psychology, inside their world. 